Well, welcome to this value med product demonstration for the all test hemoglobin meter this is the test meter starter pack as it comes boxed to you you'll see that the uh, contents of this uh, pack that we're going to run through in a minute is the meter control strips lancing device batteries carry case user manual warranty card quick reference guide lancing device inserts and control step inserts you get test strips 10 of them in here 10 lancets the code chips some alcohol pads, lancets, capillary tubes, and some test strip inserts. And also available from us, but sold separately, are the refill packs of test strips that go with this meter. All test 80 hemoglobin test strips. This is the pack containing 50 test strips. So let's open the box meter system and show you what you get when you first purchase this from us. So here's the contents of that box. Let's deal with the paperwork first. You get the hemoglobin meter quick reference guide. A hemoglobin user full user manual which is a very detailed user's guide with all the instructions that you'll require uh, the insert for the whole blood test strips a warranty card there's no actual need to send this off if you're in the uk because your warranty is uh, 365 days from purchase automatically timed from the date of purchase online and the control strip insert now inside this very well manufactured carry case let's just show you what else you get okay one of the batteries has gone astray these are usually strapped together but you will get three AAA batteries they're standard alkaline batteries easy to purchase and replace they'll be good for around 2600 tests but you'll need those to set the meter up this is the digital meter itself very well manufactured robust 80 hemoglobin meter Front and back, you also get a carton of 10 hemoglobin test strips and also some hemoglobin control strips. Come to that in a minute. You don't need those to set it up. Also in here is the control strip. That's the coding for the test strips that are supplied with the meter. You get an auto lancing device. You get a bag of lancets, 10 lancets to perform your finger prick. Also supplied with a meter just to get you going so you can familiarize yourself with how much blood is required to trigger the meter. You get these little uh, capillary tubes. Now these aren't supplied with the routine test strips that you uh, buy. Reason being, once you've got familiar with how much blood to apply onto the test strip, you no longer need these and the blood can be applied directly from the finger lance onto the meter test strip directly. So that's it. We're all ready now to start setting this meter up and we're going to show you how to set time dates and codes. Everything ready to do your first test. Let's show you how to set the meter up. Turn it over and open the battery port on the rear. You'll see uh, the battery compartment there. It's quite easy to insert the batteries. We go alternate ways in series. And as soon as you've done that, you can close the battery compartment. Okay, now on the front of the meter, you'll see displayed initially, the first reading is the year, 2022. Now, if you want to move it up, it's now 2023, we use these buttons, up and down buttons. We're going to press that to 2023. And when we've selected the correct year, press the power button. Next up is the month and day. It's actually March. I can go to April. I'm going back to March and when you're happy with the month, press again. It comes to the day, 1st of March, 2nd of March, 3rd of March. I'm going to go for the 1st of March. When I'm happy with that, press the power off button. Next flashing is the hour, 1400, 1500, 1600. This is a 24 hour clock, so 4 o'clock. And the minute, we're going for half past 4, so I'm just moving that up to... 16, 30, and when I'm happy with that, press the power off button. And that is the time and date and year all set up into this meter. Now there's one final element of your meter setup and that's to insert the code calibration chip that's supplied with the test strips into the top port of the meter as so. That's all you have to do. It has to be sitting in there when you're ready to insert your first test strip. And that is now holding the calibration for the test strips that are supplied and we are ready to do our first test. Now we're all ready to perform our first haemoglobin test. To do so, take a test strip out of the 
vial, immediately seal the vial. The optical port for the test strip you'll see is the white dot in the black undersurface. The meter strip is fed into the meter as such. And then you can press the power on button. Now you are ready to perform your first haemoglobin test. To do so, open the vial of haemoglobin test strips and remove a strip. Close the vial tightly immediately after. Insert the strip into the meter. The arrows indicate the line to which you insert the test strip. And then press the power button on the meter. You'll see it powering up, showing the code 008, which is correct. And if the strip is correctly aligned, you will see the flashing dot in the display, but also you'll see the light emitting underneath the test strip reading section. Now set your lancing device up, open the port, put a fresh lance in the lancing device and reconnect the lid, prime the lancing device. Have it on the deepest lance when you first start testing. I'm going to use this on lance depth number five. Put it onto the pulp of a well perfused finger and lance. Wipe away the first drop of blood that is formed and then massage the finger gently to produce a good volume of blood. Now 10 microliters which is required for this. You can use the little pipettes when you first get the device but once you're familiar with the volume of blood that's required to trigger this device and that is about a good sized droplet for doing so the blood can be applied directly onto the test strip area and as soon as adequate blood is absorbed it will start giving a reading. It will start counting down, so I need a bit more blood. There we go. Adequate blood has been applied, and I've got my reading in millimoles per litre, haemoglobin 9.9, .9, and the hematocrit showing along the base there is 47%. When you've performed the test, you can eject the test strip using the ejection button here, and the test strip can be removed and disposed of. Now that memory will be retained in the meter and that is how you perform a haemoglobin test strip test using the all test haemoglobin meter.